It is the last day of CES 2016, and we're talking about some of the big overall trends we've noticed at the show this year. One thing that really stood out so far is that there's a lot of old stuff. By that we mean a lot of retro and nostalgia. We've seen turntables, they've been some of the most popular items here, as well as cameras that don't actually do anything digital, they print. This stuff's really fun, it adds kind of a little bit of kitsch to the show and they've been some of the most popular products. Uh, on the other hand, we're seeing things that are actually old, as in launched six months ago or a year ago, maybe they were even here at the last CES. Uh, some of them have little updates here and there, a new button, a new feature, but overall these are not definitely specifically new products. Last year, a huge, huge thing here were wearables, a 3D printing and drones. Two of those have kind of fallen into the shadow a little bit, wearables and 3D printing. Uh, they're definitely here. Everybody has an activity tracker, a smartwatch, and every corner has a 3D printer, but they haven't been the big stars of the show. They're, people don't come out and talk about them quite as much as they did in the last couple years. That said, drones are still huge, if not even bigger than they've been in years past. And we're seeing more specific drones, not just a bunch of drones doing the same thing. We've got ones that can fit a person in them or ones that are uncrashable. So they're getting more specific and hitting a niche market. The biggest star here this year is the Internet of Things. The really cool thing this year is that the technology that is enabling the Internet of Things and smart homes has gotten really, really good. This is definitely like a new point of capability for the Internet of Things. So we're seeing a lot of experimentation since the background technology is so sophisticated now and it makes us really excited for what we're going to be able to see maybe next year at CES.